welcome to another youtube video guys so i just received mine xpg game x x70 blade mine I, I bought i decided to go for one terabyte hopefully it's enough um recently i've been having um I've, i have my ps5 for at least eight months now and the memory is already full i can't even play one of my favorite games uh and for all of you that are waiting for this game I'm also waiting as well. I'm counting down. Uh, who can't wait for Vanguard? I mean, I'm waiting for it as well. I'm excited. So yeah, so my, my memory is pretty full. I'm about to show you guys what's going on. Um, I have like three games that I play differently just to switch things up. Uh, so I, I play Call of Duty War, Warzone. And I also play uh, um, Ghost, uh, uh, this one right here ghost uh, recon um i'm almost done with it i played it a while ago but i'm i'm starting to like try to try to finish the game and i also play uh, another game there that i like to keep so there's three games running but it's apparently it's it's already full so i'm gonna go ahead and try to um to 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 you know to add a uh an sd card uh, m.2 and see if i can get enough um enough memory so i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about when i'm talking about uh, the memory is already full and i can't even play my games if i don't it, it always needs to upgrade i don't know for some reasons it always needs to update it always needs to redownload the game for i don't know what reason so i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about so as you can see um right now this is currently uh on a hold but it's already installed as well uh call of duty vanguard and this was one of what i'm using but every time i go on it it tells you that I need to free up space in order to be able to play the game. So I can start without uh, completely updating the game. But as soon as I start, uh, I start want to play. I'll um, it will ask me to update the game to be able to use the network. And the thing is, um, Ghost Recon runs on network, so I'm not able to play the game every time because I need to upload the network. Uh, that's the thing I was talking about. So I have no free space. So I have to go back, quit the game, and you know, so. All right guys, so y'all remember this tool? Uh, I don't know if I ever, ever showed it though, but uh, this comes from Amazon as well. Um, it's like a fix it tool, but this one is transparent. I've got the name because I had this tool for a while now. So I had this tool for about two years now. So I don't really remember what the name of the tool is, but I know it's from Amazon. And it doesn't really say the name anywhere. So, but it's pretty cool because it has all the the bits that you that you need to install um, to remove almost anything. All right, so let's go ahead and go pick up the PS PS5 and install this. M.2. All right, so me, um, I have the P I have the digital version, so y'all don't understand that um, the memory gets full pretty quickly because all my all my games are downloaded. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and remove it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I take it apart. As I mentioned, I have the digital version. So all my games are downloaded. So I lose space pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove it. It's on the internet now. I know a lot of people know how to remove it, but me, I just go to the edge. Just the, the where that's like on the top where there's the slim part of it. The slim part of the top. If you have the digital version, the slim part of the top where there's a logo, you open the same place there and there you open it from here so the slim part of the ps5 at the back that's where you you lift it up and if you lift it up here you can see there's a little is there's a little uh knob there whatever you call it same oh well it's gonna be the same for this side see all right so i'm gonna go ahead and lift it up i'll get i'm gonna put my ps uh, i'm gonna put my camera on the tripod so i can remove it and we can get this m dot and i'm sure that the the m dot uh m m dot two drive 
or SSD, it's gonna be on this side where the logo is. Oh shoot, I'm gonna break my where the logo is. So I'm gonna remove it from this side. I believe that's where the M.2 um, slot will be. Let's try it. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and open it. So like I said, you just lift this up and then you push it back a little bit. And then it comes out without scratching. So I was wrong. So where the logo is, is not where the M.2 is. So I'm gonna put it back on and we're gonna flip it. So it's on the other side, right here. Like I said, on the skinny part in the back, you just lift it up a bit and then just slide. Like it's not hard. I don't know why it acts like it's there you go. See? Without any scratches, it's not that hard, but it looks like it's hard, but it's not. All right, so that's where it is. So it's just a normal Phillips screw. Uh, we're gonna be using this right here. You guys can see it. It's the normal Phillips screw. And behind this, when you close it, you flip it. You open this side and you have the driver so it's pretty cool you can even fix your uh, iphone with that iphone phone or whatever you, you want to do and this one is like to extend it and all so it's pretty cool so you use the driver put it there it has like a magnet that's it So it has like the the PS or the PlayStation logos on it. The X, Y, triangle, and square. All right. There you go. So let's go ahead and open the box. Uh, this little knife here from Mastercraft. Uh, it's like very, it's like easy. That's my first time opening the box with you guys. That's it right here. It's very small, actually. It's like, uh, <clears throat> it's very small. Anyways, um, I have a little bit of dust here, as you guys can see. Uh, this has been running for at least, I don't know, five months because I cleaned it once. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna blow the, f I'm gonna blow it first and then I'm gonna put this on. It has a little bit of a, it has a shield cover here to put it on here. As you can see, so it's pretty cool. All right, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys a tool that I have that I bought also from Amazon while I put this here. I, if, I don't know if you guys ever seen this thing here. It's an air compressor, but it's electronic. So you never have to refill the air compressor or buy a new one. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna use it just to blow this really quickly, uh, remove the dust inside the PS5, and we're gonna go ahead and install this. All right, so then I'm done with the vacuum. Let's go ahead and install this. Um, Make sure your hands are like clean so you don't get no uh, smudge on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. It's very, very tiny, as you can see. It's very, very tiny. All right. All 
um, if you look at the X, if you look at the thing here, when you when you if you see that you see this is the part where it heats up because that's where the processes are or where the so you'll know that this is the this is how you're gonna put it because you're gonna put the heat sink right here on top of these processors right here. There's no processor here, so you'll know that when you're gonna put your uh, M.2, it's gonna be it's gonna go on where there's the big big boxes, little square here are gonna be. So you know you're gonna put it this way. All right. So it, it clicked. And all you do is just put it like that. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is that there's a screw right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if I can bring it more closer. I could. Yeah. All right. So the screw right here. Got to remove it first, but uh, that's what you're gonna use to uh to put to put to put this down so when you remove it oh, okay i'm gonna keep it like that so you just grab the little thing right here that that was there you put it into that hole okay and that's it see careful you don't drop the screw inside this fan oh it's gonna it's gonna piss you off then you have to go inside the fan, open the fan up, and then grab the screw. So that's it. That's pretty much it. So now we're going to grab the heat sink. So behind the heat sink, you have a little tape here. All you have to do is just remove the tape and just drop it on right here. Oh, I'm gonna flip it because there's a little there's a little edge there. I would go here for when you want to remove it next time. All right. I don't know if it's straight, but hey, it's there. Okay, let's go. So it's in there. So with this, it's so slim that I'm able, I'm able to close it. So I'm able to put it back, close it up. I'm able to close it back up. screw there you go so it's very quick you could do it in less than five minutes honestly it's really quick to to just install your m.2 and like instantly have a much larger space so i'm gonna go ahead and open my ps5 and install this ps5 back and open it all right so it has detected so uh, as soon as you open your ps5 when you turn it on it gives you you see this window so you have to format it or else you will have to just shut on your ps5 and just remove the m.2 or else your ps5 won't, won't be able to turn on like you won't see the page uh, your home screen page if you do not format the m.2 ssd drive As you can see, it's pretty quickly, and the speed is 6047, so 6047.903 megabyte per second. Well, on the box, it's funny because it, on the box it says that it's, gonna, it's, it's it's able to go up to 700, but when you put it inside the PS5, it, it gives you only 6,000. It's, it's able to go to 7,000, sorry. When you put it on the PS5, it only gives you maximum six. 
1407 so it's funny but uh, yeah, as long as it works right so uh, the m.2 is formatted it's gonna so as soon as you're you, uh, you format your m.2 it's gonna open and you'll be able to get in inside your um... all right so guys there you have it um, so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, remo uh, move some games around I'm not gonna show you guys that because there's a lot of videos out there on the internet that shows you guys how to do it um, I just wanted to show you guys how to install your m.2 so as you can see it's working uh, I know I won't be able to play my game unless I move game around as you can see even if I click on it even if it opens it will tell me that uh, I need to uh, free up space but there is space I just have to move some games around so thank you guys for watching I hope it was very educational for you guys and it was more easier for you guys to see how it's done it's pretty simple honestly it would, it would take you about honestly five minutes because it's so easy to open up the the ps5 open a little one bolt uh one screw i mean that that is there and also um installing your m.2 so it's pretty it would last it, it would take you literally five minutes to install it and you're up and running and installation when you format it takes about less than a minute when you format it it's pretty quickly and then you go um <clears throat> moving games around i'm not sure how long it takes um because the games are big big files and big uh, they're all they're big uh, how do we say uh, files so it might take a little bit of time but uh, i'm not going to show you guys that so i hope you guys love the video please like and subscribe the video and i'll be uploading more videos thank you